What's going on guys? It's your boy CMB back in the building back with another video Don't forget to subscribe to the channel now Let's get into this really quickly guys. So I'm sure you heard it by now I've made a video myself on Deontay Wilder uh, finally coming out speaking his piece about the Glovegate situation and about the trilogy fight with uh, Tyson Fury that may not be happening. Uh, a lot of people were waiting on him to come out and defend himself, uh, give his side of the story, and he, he picked Halloween to do it. So uh, he's finally said, he's finally spoken his piece. Uh, maybe I should put it that way. Now, uh, one of the things in the in the video that uh, caught my attention that I got to say I totally disagree with was the situation when he said that Mark Breland was a disloyal trainer. Uh, I, I didn't see it that way. Now, if there's some outside circumstances outside of the fight that he's talking about that we're not privy to, then I can't really speak on that. But I'm speaking on... Uh, the, on the actual fight where Mark Breland uh, stopped the fight. And I thought Mark Breland stopped the fight because he uh, pretty much uh, cared for Wilder as a, as a human being, was looking out for him, his, his, his health and his safety in the ring. Uh, th this big man, Tyson Fury, uh, damn near 300 pounds, wailing on Wilder, and he just looked like he could not defend himself anymore. And Mark Breland just had enough. He, he didn't want to see Wilder hurt. Wilder has a family. Uh, Wilder has a career to protect. So I, I didn't see that. You know, maybe Wilder, you know, like I said, maybe it's some other circumstances that I'm not privy to uh, that Wilder has a problem with Mark Breland. But I, I thought Mark Breland was being an honorable man and on the fight that night. Now. Here's the argument that a lot of people are making as well. I'm going to play devil's advocate here. Uh, Deontay Wilder was uh, saying that basically Tyson Fury cheated. and He thought that Tyson Fury cheated in the first fight and in the second fight. So why wouldn't he come out and speak on it after the first fight? Why would you give Tyson Fury another chance to cheat again? And uh, even if you did give him another chance, why wouldn't you have uh, extra precautionary measures to make sure he didn't cheat like he did in the first fight? That's that's the argument that I'm hearing. Another argument that people are making, uh, why isn't Wilder uh, filing any type of charges? Why isn't Wilder pushing for an investigation if he really believes that uh, Tyson Fury cheated in there? Why isn't he doing that? I can't answer that. Only Wilder can answer that. But uh, initially, when all this went down, I was in the camp that didn't believe Tyson Fury cheated. Uh, I just didn't want to throw something out there saying the guy's a cheater and a liar. I didn't want to do that. You know, I saw people making a lot of compelling uh, arguments, uh, showing certain videos. I heard arguments from both sides. Uh, I just didn't know what to think after a while. Got to be honest with you guys. It was just so much information to process uh, coming from both sides. I, I just heard a lot of good points on both sides. So that's why I'm in the camp of if Wilder believes that something is is wrong, if, if, if there was some cheating or some shenanigans going on, then have the investigation. Uh, have the right people look into this and make sure uh, these fights were in the up and up because it puts a black eye uh, on the boxing community uh, if this isn't resolved, if it, if it isn't resolved. You know, I think both of these guys uh, have, you know, they're great guys. Uh, I just hate to see this type of stuff going on. I would love to see them fight again, but, uh, I think this has to be resolved. It just keeps growing bigger and bigger and bigger. It did die down for a while, but now it's now it's uh, up front and center because Wilder actually came out and spoke on it. You know, like I said before, everybody on YouTube was speaking out on it, 
but Wilder was silent and not saying anything about it. So I don't know what made him come out today and, you know, give his, you know, speak his piece on this whole situation. But like I said, I, I, I honestly disagree with the Mark Breland uh, situation of him being disloyal. I, I, I really didn't see that, guys. I, I just thought he was being protective uh, of a person, of a fighter that he truly cared about. But, you know, like I said, it might be something else going on that I don't know about yet. I'm hearing uh, Deontay Wilder has some more stuff to expose, so we're just going to have to wait and see. Uh, we're going to have to wait and see what Tyson Fury has to say about all this. It's, it's getting interesting again. It's getting deep, guys, so let's, uh, let's see what happens. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section once again. Uh, do you think Tyson Fury is a cheater? Uh, do you think uh, Deontay Wilder is a sore loser or has sour grapes or whatever you want to say? Let me know in the comment section, guys. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.